Welcome back to Gears O. <laughs> Marcus? Well, uh, uh, man, Baird, your voice got deeper all of a sudden. Yeah, and I more. Have a oh, well, hey, we're in the middle of nowhere. I've got a bad throat. Baird, what Which are we? Baird, if your testosterone keeps piling up like that, you're going to lose all your hair. But, you know, what's the chance of that Baird, happening? Baird, what did we tell you about impersonating Marcus Phoenix? Well, I mean... Well, well, I mean, who else, I mean, I mean, who's, who else is gonna uh, himself? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe, or a son right. in the future. All right. Uh, hey, Carmen, how are you doing? <laughs> um, are you still alive today? Good. Oh, uh, hopefully. Um, he yeah. has to survive at the ends of Gear Three, so hopefully, he's still alive now. Otherwise, yeah. we create a time paradox. <laughs> Think about this, oh. Tio. Carmine lives in this game while Sophia just gets killed off screen. That's sad. Really, really fucking sad. <laughs> I mean, look, don't get me wrong. When Carmine survived Gear 3, we Jesus all cheered Christ, because we wanted to see him survive, but that's the thing. The Carmines are famous for dying. Actually, I wonder do you think we'll ever get a female Carmine at some point? Uh, isn't there a female we, we Carmine do, in, five? in 5? We actually do in 5. Oh so. god, that's right, 5. It was an well, interesting... Well, Monty's Paul drove, I guess. So. It was an interesting change of pace. I, I'm gonna say it right now, Tio. The Carmine thing was actually, one of the better things of Gears 5. We actually do get two. Uh, uh, a woman and her uncle. And they both survive. Wow, oh, kinda spoiled that, but yeah. To be fair, Joe, I'm pretty, I'm pretty con confident at this point of their, that Gears 5 is going to be such a mess in terms of themes of that, you know, it's best if we get the minor stuff a little way sooner or before later. Well, it's like I it's said not, to you. It's, the, not, it's, not, that, oh, oh. it's not that the game makes it that big a deal anyway. I'll say this. The Carmine stuff, well, it's like I said, the Carmine stuff is one of the better things of Gears 5, and trust me, Gears 5 needs all the positives it can get. Honestly, Jova, their their screen time is so limit limited anyway. I don't really uh, it doesn't it doesn't really help anything if you ask me. Well, it's like I said, like they were one of the better things. That does not salvage the game, though. Oh, I know that. It's just that no, it, I didn't say salvage. I said help. I, honestly, it doesn't even help even a little bit, at least for me, because it, the, the screen time they have is so limited. But well, whatever, I will get to it. Gotta be a way oh, look, an ammo box. Man, Gears 5 is like the very epitome of a storm is coming. Check that tower across the way. Well, then again, I guess... Literally and figuratively, both literally and figuratively, because in Chapter 3, there's... Uh, sorry, in Act 3, there's literally uh, storms uh, <laughs> in, the, in the second hub world. So. Uh, I mean, Gears 5 is just a mind-boggling game on so many fronts. Like, okay, this game, Gears Judgment... Yes, it tinkers with the playstyle, but at the very least, the playstyle is pretty much the same, just with weird reversed controls. In Gears 5, they kind of revamp the whole play structure of the game here and there. Oh, don't get yeah. me wrong, you get your typical run and gun stuff, but for some weird reason, they made it open world. So, yeah, Rod Ferguson actually looked at Gears of War and said, you know what this series needs? Uh, empty, empty, open up worlds that have nothing to do in them, except for like maybe one side mission per hub world, and it's not even all that interesting to be honest. It's like I said. I, try, I tried, do, I tried doing them, but I just felt, I just, I just, uh, you know, lost interest so quickly because the game was just so unengaging to me that I just didn't even bother. It's like. A it's like I said, it feels like it's structured like a Mass Effect game. Like, now, with Mass Effect, it makes sense that some of the worlds are empty and whatnot. And mind you, I'm talking about Mass Effect 1, where exploration was more part of the uh, format here. But, you know, the idea of Mass Effect is that it goes to explore and document worlds that you go to. So, in that case, it kind of makes sense that, you know, some worlds would be rather barren here and there because they'd just be that way. Whereas with Gears 5, Again. not only does it do open world, it does it not that well either. Like, if you're gonna completely change the playstyle of a franchise, do it right. Yeah, like, uh, like, like I said, it's kind of similar to how I feel about 4's uh, RTS sections. Like, the development resources and time spent on making the hub worlds of 5 would have been better spent in creating uh, gameplay set pieces, you know? 
uh, that would make the actual main campaign, the actual story, a bit more engaging in terms of action. You know. Kind of think uh, of it. How many set pieces have we had in this game? No, in this game we don't have any set pieces because remember, too, we're, we're kind of tight on budget and time for this one. Well, like I said, I give this game somewhat more leeway because you know it was a spin-off, so I can understand you know some things being a bit different for a spin-off. You know, again, it's pure it's pure arcade experience with this one. To be honest, as I noticed, you can easily just play with the mute button on. The problem is that with Gears Four. That was when, well, that's a whole new main installment. You're gonna yeah. be held to higher standards. So stuff that might have worked for this game, like the RTS segments here, did not work out that well in Gears 4 and felt weaker as a result. Especially when you realize that they were just meant to pad out time and took a... Pop in? Okay. They were meant to pad out the time and essentially took away time that could have been spent on, like Pedro mentioned, set pieces. Also, what was with that popping on the rubble wall there? I haven't noticed that. Uh, Basically, some bits of rubble man. kind of vanished and then came back in. Honestly, it just comes across as, uh, again, it's like Shepard Gaming said in his videos about Gears 5. It feels like we just did it because it's a trendy thing to do. Like, that's the thing. Is open world even really that trendy? It was when we announced it, Joseph. Ah, true, Everyone was yeah. trying to get a piece of it. That was like... Was it 2017, I think? It was announced in 2018. Oh, yep, yep, yep. In the wakes of stuff like Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey, there were a lot of people paying catch-up here and there. For better or for worse. Mm-hmm. That said, though, I mean... It should probably be... You'd think that that would be, like, rule number one on the dev handbook here. Do not fundamentally change your franchise unless, A, you're absolutely, absolutely, positively sure that this is the best move for it, and B, that you know what you're doing. Neither of which was kind of met for Gears 5, you're saying, Petra? It's mostly because uh, the formula of Ge all, all they really needed to do from Gears 3 to Gears 4, in, at least gameplay-wise, was to just keep the base formula and just take advantage of the Xbox One's power uh, to do even bigger and more impressive. Okay. Oh yeah, a bit of lore. He Covered here by the Cog Engineering Corps, the body of Colonel Erza P. Loomis, where yep. orders fled, he remained That's here right, Tio. Loomis probably, is... Probably a character from the comics. No, no, Tio, Tio, Tio. Loomis was the judge. Oh. Yeah. He's dead now. Oh. There you go. So there you go, uh, Tio. Um, he died a true true hero. Huh. Oh, <laughs> well, I mean, he's a fucking hero. Actually, that's a good segue. Let me track you the week he tells the ultimate fate of this guy. Oh boy. Okay. But yeah, like I was saying, honestly, the only thing they really needed to do for 4 was just, you was know, take advantage of the power color. of the Xbox Unless One uh, and do even bigger, better action sequences. Like, And they, and to their credit, they did do two of them. They did that bike scene where we're shooting the plane, and they did that moment where we're, you know, uh, rising yeah, in the elevator uh, through the wall the and stuff. If the game them. actually committed to just sticking to the base. Uh, classic Gears formula while doing all of that cool stuff uh, and it as well as actually creating characters that are not lame you know the game would have been just fine Gears of War 4 is uh, like that kind of new installment that feels so afraid that oh you know if I don't change up something new drastically people covered. will just get sick of me and tired while that is the case sometimes Gears 4 changed stuff up a little too drastically Either intentionally or non-intentionally. Right. I would argue five is the one that definitely is the best, the big offender when it comes to that. Oh, it is. Okay. It, 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 it oh, is. Sorry, but Gears... oh, five definitely is the bigger offender. But Gears of War four kind of did it too. Like it messed with the usual structure of a Gears game. It really toggled around with you know the set pieces here and there. It made RTSs now a permanent oh. fixture in the main run of things. <laughs> Extreme hacking minigame. Of course, yeah. Batman, the Arkham series, is nothing on these. Well to, be, well, to be fair to you, I still would rather have this than the hacking minigame of Incredible Hulk 2003. So... <laughs> anyway, I checked. Uh, okay, apparently, um, apparently the statue tells the fact that you know Loomis has died because it was dedicated to his last stand, which happened a couple of weeks after the trial. Essentially, he died. Uh, 
in that last stand, and as the flick says, he was regarded as a war hero as a result. Is it How ironic. Is it sad that he kind of gets a better respect in death than Sophia does? Like, Sophia! And you can actually, and like Pedro said, you can play with him in the multiplayer. Like, again, Sophia essentially gets the Independence Day 2 treatment. Here's her picture in a wall in Gears 5 of all games. That's the thing, Joe. We don't even get to see her picture of how of how she is uh, after these years. That's the problem. That's the thing. We didn't even have, we don't even have the luxury of seeing her picture. <laughs> We're just told that she has a picture apparently on the wall. Uh. Woo! Like, goddamn. I mean, I guess you can say at least Will Smith's picture made it into the movie. <laughs> There's that at least. Oh god, I mean, don't get me wrong, Sophia was kind of a low for breath, but I don't know, man, that kind of feels like you have it out for the it's character. Like it's like Theo said, the universe is against her both in and out of the universe. So, speaking of which, can't wait till we get to the line actually referring to her death in this campaign. Uh, I don't think it's in this part, it's in the final part, if I remember correctly. Makes sense. But yeah, uh, y you know, here's Not what that it, it matters. Not that it matters. It's just Baird asking, so how's Sophia? And he's like, huh, no, Sophia died. And then she shows her cogs and that it, Like, seriously, the, the game itself it doesn't even seem to care all that much about what happened. You Sorry, know, all things considered, honest. okay. If you really did want to kill Loomis and Sophia off, why not have them die in a heroic manner, like say, oh, they have to buy the other's time or whatnot, or they have to self-sacrifice Technically speaking, himself. he did. It was just off-screen. Well, okay, yeah, but why not have that happen on-screen, and then later show a statue of, well, both Loomis and Sophia. Like, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's told to us in the maybe it's shown to us in the comics. No, at least for Loomis, no. It's uh, the, the events I mean, of Sophia. an event. Well, Jovo will asking both of them. Yeah, both. Okay. That said, though, again, say what you will about the original trilogy of Gears, maybe some details were better explained in comics, but it never felt like we absolutely needed to read supplementary yeah, no material to understand them. Whereas with these later Gears games, well, granted, from what Tio has informed us, even the comics don't really build up more on judgment here and there. But by the no, it's not. It doesn't seem to be told in the comics. So. Um, I guess that would kind of make sense seeing as how Judgment was so <coughs> spin-off territory that probably even the comics didn't really acknowledge it that much. Yep. Well, apparently what it says here, which is probably what the game says, it doesn't straight up say that she is murdered, but only that she has been kidnapped. Okay then. So maybe there's a uh, chance of her to show up in the future. That's a thing, Joe, but that's a thing, Teo. Um, yeah, she got kidnapped, and, and Paddock will tell us that, but then he will explain to us that how she he actually saw her. Um, I, basically, Teo, Paddock doesn't flat out say that she died, but then but but he kind of stops himself and then shows the cog and sad music plays. So the game heavily implies that that's what happened. I will, I will say this. If they're trying to hint that she might be alive and out there, they're sure taking their damn time with that reveal to the revel plot revelation of a spin-off, mind you. Not, I mean, to, 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 be, to, be fair, to be fair, Jova Paddock returning Gears 5, who knows, uh, maybe Sophia can return for 6. Uh. Maybe. Not to mention, ta not to mention ta why the heck would we need Sophia to return when we have our super awesome female character, Kate? Why can't uh, you have more than one female character? Because Kate is the creator's pet. Uh, you, know, that's, uh, you know, that's a problem with a lot of even, people. Even with 13, the energy, at least Lightning had other female characters characters to hang around with. God, how bad is it that Final Fantasy XIII is arguably one of the better female empowerment stories when you get down to it? Because it avoids a problem a lot of female well, empowerment. Oh, let, let me finish. I will agree with you for the first oh, so go ahead. Yeah, I was mainly talking about the first 13 game, like, because that game uh, avoids the problem a lot of female empowerment stories do by focusing on just one sole female character who just happens to have all these special abilities while every other female character is either a douche or fails because they aren't as special. Do they does call, it, um, does it, does it, does it do the, uh, trope that I am personally not a huge fan of? What? Which one? And calls a lot of attention to, oh, I'm a female. 
No, no, sur no. surprisingly no. Um, no. Lightning I can is in no never at any point, in the first game at least, never at any point is the fact that she's a woman even, you know, factor into the story. She just is, yeah. and that's it. That, 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 that's basically the, what be the thing that I advocate. She, actually, she may be barely written for, at least for her own series, but at the very least she's a character before being a female character. Yeah. It's yeah. now. Now, don't get me wrong. She is still a bad character of how much of a dick she is, and then how her development is handled. Where she has this revelation of maybe we're the bad guys by doing exactly what the Falsy want us to do, and then she makes up with Snow, and that's pretty much it for her development. If anything, for the standard of the series, it's slightly, slightly, because it was slightly more progressive because he's the first major. Pro Full front protagonist, the main protagonist, mind you, not the supporting cast of a Final Fantasy game, you know, that's female and it's not just a wizard, she actually has a physical role. Although, admittedly, mm, 13 kind of feels a bit confused with who the actual main protagonist oh, hold is. Hold on. Oh? Is it. Now that I think about it, is it now? I don't even Hold know. on. We're, so no, we're about to talk about the submarine oh, and, mind, and we will yeah. not talk about Dom. Yeah. Yeah, Marcus stops the I'm saying about you might, you, here. You, you might remember how in Gears 3 we actually saw the other side of this conversation yeah. with Anya. Uh -huh. so, nice, so did we, uh, so did we actually uh, recycle the voice? Did we actually recycle the voice clips, or they asked the voice actors to re-record them? No, okay. Recycled. Well, that makes sense. I mean, it's no, no, I'm, I'm talking about I'm talking about the other side. Did Cole's voice act try to re-record the line? No, 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 no. We we actually heard it in uh, uh, Cole from the other side in, in free. So we didn't. They, 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 it was already recorded for free. So. <laughs> we are a bit too late for that. Uh... All right, new plan. We'll eat at that diner and grill. <laughs> okay. lo our locusts eat you no know, good to eat. Uh, good to eat. Uh, hmm. Once we get to huh. this building, we can cross over and reach the boat. How the hell are we gonna do that? Well, if there's anything like bug meat, maybe. <laughs> so exactly. lots of protein. <laughs> As Kenshiro would tell you. <laughs> even in general, Jova. I love how the game even uh, skips several floors up. Yeah, we're gonna just skip. Oh, come on. Why, can, why can't we have, like, in Final Fantasy VII, uh, see all the characters getting tired by going through so many stairs? Uh. <laughs> Don't you see, guys? These these guys' legs are too muscular to get tired from going up the stairs. They stage. actually haven't skipped leg like, day. Yeah. But no, like. Oh, uh, uh, hello? Who, who are you? Oh. oh, okay, that's not important, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there, there you go, see? A joke that actually is funny and makes sense to have in a Gears game. Thank you. Jesus I can't, Christ. I can't. It's not hard. Again, I cannot stress enough how much the quality has gone up in this campaign of judgment. It's so apparent that this was that this is leftover content from free. Like also, the game is literally showering you with one shots all the time now. Maybe they wanted. Uh, maybe it's because I'm playing on easy mode too. Hmm. hmm. I don't know how that affects uh, the ammo rate. But yeah, uh, I don't know, Tay. What about Terra? I would. Or, 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 I mean, she's no, Terra. no, 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 no. I'm talking. I'm talking about personality. I'm talking strictly gameplay wise because Terra has always been built to gameplay wise to be a magical user. And you know, lightning instead is more profit. Sure, she, <laughs> she, she, she <laughs> lightning. Sure, as the ravager and medic roles also available, but she's primarily you know a commando in terms of you know attacking. Yeah. So she's she's more of a physical build, and that's what you know the 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 balance supposedly. Let let that's also why you say it's likely, especially because this the series had past female characters who were more suited for physical roles. They were just not in the main protagonist role. Not only that, but with Six, isn't it kind of up for, for debate who the actual main character of Six is? Like, I don't know. Yeah, 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 but to, to be... But to be honest, Terra is the one who's almost everything gravitates towards, uh, you know, and uh, we're the one where you start the game with, so association. And, Which is and ironic, she's isn't it? the one that, 
and she's always the first choice when it comes to representing six in the city and then not well, in crossovers in general which is weird because isn't she isn't like a segment of the game where she's optional for the party or something yes um yes. without spoiling too much after the basically the only point of the game uh, your new protagonist becomes celis or or is celis i forgot what the specific pronouns um Another well, female I, I, character. I heard, it, I heard it in World of Final Fantasy, so I know how which, it. which is also a, a more physical build. She's a magic knight. Um, and uh, you have to decide which party members to, you know, go get around because they've been scattered, you know, and eventually tackle Kefka in his, in his tower. Um, and you can choose. I forgot which party members are specifically mandatory, but at least a good chunk of them Seven. are optional. Oh, sorry? Seven is, oblig Seven is obligatory. He's the okay. first one you get even. True, um, but uh, but otherwise you can choose whatever. It's kind of similar to Chrono Trigger in a way in how you can decide with which party members you can tackle the final dungeon or not. And Terra is not what it meant for it was. Hmm. All right, transition without speaking. Chakroni. Yep. Oh, a oh. Uh, yeah, That's we needed good. the explosive for that. Also, slight to Joel's reference. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, exactly that. Uh, no, 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 Dwebs, um, it's only in um, it's only in the sequels, Dwebs, where in 13.2 and Lightning Returns, where they start sexualizing the shit out of Lightning, especially Lightning Returns. Uh, you can more play dress up with Lightning, and most of her outfits are impractical um, as fuck. Doesn't that give you? Doesn't that give you a uh, different? Uh, stuff Not it just does, that, please remember some of the outfits actually changes their breast size. Yeah, that too. That, that is weird. <laughs> uh, uh, to, although, to be fair, like that like said, uh, gameplay wise, the customizable outfits and stuff actually does fulfill its, its purpose very well. To be fair. If I am to be fair, for a, yeah, okay, it is technically sexualizing of her. But it, it doesn't feel like sexualizing her is the main focus of it, so much as it is trying to tout how awesome and how she's the key to everything and whatnot. Like, to be fair, the whole the whole you turn naked when crystal thing, that's something that happens to everyone when they're apparently mm, yeah, asleep. Yeah. You're right, Jova, but there's the thing, Jova. And Toriyama's morbid admiration for the character, you know, can be can be considered, you know, not exactly not exactly a positive trait. Oh, still. definitely, definitely. It's just that, ironically, I don't feel like he's one who does it with, you know, intentionally bad intentions. Oh, don't not get me wrong. It, his his projects, as a result, did kind of become disaster still. But he's one of the few guys who I felt. Wow, technically sexualizing lightning didn't do it with the intent of, oh, this is what will sell the game. So much as it was more a byproduct of trying to make her look better, all things considered. That's the thing, Jova. They actually, the, the, the announcement that the costumes were going to change her breast size was literally announced in one of the many we interviews that, that were done uh, pre release. So it was announced. It's, like, it's not like it's something that was just put in there and they never actually talked about it. No, no, no. They this was advertised. planned. This was planned and advertised as a feature in the game by the developers. So honestly, it's kind of hard not to see it that way. I think the, I think what I find weird about it is like, well, changing her breast size makes it feel like more they're just literally putting her head on a different body here and there so that, you know... Basically. It'll it's the, it's it's the entire idea behind a dress up, uh, you know, uh, feature of any kind when you think about it, Jova. I will just it's say this just I feel like the whole dress up thing was done better in 10 2 than it was. Ooh, in how are you supposed to say what yeah, it was? Well, 10 2 didn't even take itself seriously for the most part, so it made it so it, it was much more tolerable. Oh, there. you don't you don't have to actually sever them, you can oh. just shoot them. Oh, but Page of Lightning Returns was so full of jokes, wasn't it? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. Of... Remember, uh, remember, Jova. That's the thing, Jova. It did try jokes, the problem is it completely inept at it. Remember, Jova, Pedro didn't even show us the Mio Meow Choco Chow side quest. Well, Jova, what the hell did you Might as well, it was a train wreck, might as well go to Full Hall. 
I guess, but I just could not bring myself to <laughs> that bad, huh? Okay, Bas basically, Java Lightning is chosen to to be the sponsor of uh, you know the product. Unlike in Mass Effect 2, however, when this is played to the extreme for big for comedic effect, Lightning has to go around the entire I forgot which species specifically and tell to the people in question the phrase "Mio Miao Choco Chao." The oh, promise that uh, since Lightning is the proud of notions in that game. She has to say that with a monotone tone, and it doesn't get better no many times how she says it. Does she at least I'm get guessing... embarrassed from saying it so that there's some funny reaction I, I, get, I, I get the idea behind the, the comedic intention of the side quest is just not funny for oh. the combination of how it's constructed. I gotta get it again. Does she like have an embarrassed reaction to it, or are no. her like... That 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 pen, the usual. Ah, no, it's, it's that it's 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 that pen too. But I will argue that the way it, she's animated when she says it does imply that at least. I think mm. I, I I think I can see Tio's issue here though. It's like well again because of her lack of emotions as the story demands here, you don't really get that much funny stuff out of it. I mean sure maybe you could say oh it's funny that she does a dolly. But given that it's a cyclist where you have to do it repeatedly, I'm guessing that it gets old after, like, the first Remember, two years. remember, the total difference of Lightning Returns also gives us the wonderful uh, missed timing with uh, the, the when she has to actually become an actress for the play, where the host, the guy with the, uh, you know, with the black and white outfit and the top hat, acts very over the top and anime-esque, and it doesn't fit with what the situation is going on. It could have worked for another type of game, but unfortunately not for that. Anyway, tune in for the epic conclusion, I guess. See ya. See ya then. See ya. Wow, we do have Where's only that? one part of this game left.